I had to be very patient. I am generally a very patient person, but it really takes a, a different kind of patience because you you cannot go at the pace that you would like to go. You you can't. You have to you have to follow the child's lead. And that also means you have to pick up on body language cues if they can't articulate necessarily what exactly they want and what they need you have to be very observant um you have to be extremely flexible because sometimes you've got a great idea in your head of what might, might work on how to teach a certain topic or something and the child will not like it and will not be able to learn. And then you have to change. But in that moment, so you have to change course immediately. You can't go and say, okay, well, wait a little bit. Let me research and then I'll come back to you and then we can try again. You can't do that. You have to think on your feet. Um and professionally as well, with the with my teaching method, the teaching style, um, I had to be extremely creative, which I am. I am a very creative person, um, but it takes a different kind of creativity. You don't have – you have a curriculum, yes, but that curriculum, because in Amoeba we don't really have a special needs curriculum. Uh, there are not a lot of guidelines. So you have to come up with your own. So you take the mainstream curriculum, basically, and you adjust it. So there I had to do a lot of thinking. Um, again, a lot of researching, um, speaking to other teachers that have experience in this field. And that was challenging, but it was an excellent challenge, and I loved it.